Man, these leaves are getting out of control. Like, I really need something to clean them up with. Like a broom, or maybe a street sweeper! <laughs> If you play video games and you watch movies, you have probably seen a street sweeper before. They are absolutely awesome. I would say they are iconic. This is a 12 gauge shotgun with a rotary mag and it is an absolute beast. So the street sweeper was designed in the 1980s and comes from South Africa and at some point was used by the South African National Defense Force. So I guess the concept here was to have as much firepower from a 12 gauge as you possibly could in a relatively small package. Now some of them did have stocks, folding stocks, and longer barrels, but this one in particular is pretty compact. I have a six inch barrel. I'm not really sure what the overall length of this is, but it's absolutely ridiculous and a ton of fun to shoot. <laughs> So the Street Sweeper is basically a giant revolver, except it's 12 gauge. So to load it, you pull down your little loading gate here, you put it around, and then here on the front, you have this dial. You twist that, and load the next one, load the next one, load the next one, until it has 12 rounds in it. Then you want to keep twisting this, lines it up, there's like a spring in there, and then once it's completely wound, you would want to shut your door for the first shot, pull the trigger, and then when you release the trigger, it will start to rotate to the next round. Now, why did I want to close that door for the first round? So the street sweeper has this handy dandy little ejecting function, and it's where it taps off some of the gas from the round you just shot, it blows that gas down this tube, and then it will blow out your spent casing. Now, if you don't close the door on your first shot, it will blow out a round that you have not shot yet. So, you wanna close that door for the first round, and then that way, your fresh round doesn't get blown out. Then when it rotates, now you have a spent casing. You flick that down, and then you can continue to fire, and as you fire, it will continue to shoot those casings out. Now, some of these models I have seen have like a little protector that will basically deflect the spent shell casings downward. Um, my model doesn't have that. So when I'm shooting this thing, it's blowing them all right into my arm right here. And after a little while, that can become kind of annoying, but I don't care because this is just too much fun to shoot. So. I'll get hit with spent shotgun casings all day. So once you're done shooting all 12 rounds, you're gonna need to reload, and that could take you a moment depending on what kind of ammo you're using. Some of the brass and shotgun shells kind of stick inside this cylinder. So your auto-ejecting gas system doesn't always work, but thankfully there is an ejector rod. It's right here. And as you can see, that comes up through there and you can knock out any casings that are stuck in there. So what you're gonna have to do at that point is rotate, eject, rotate, eject, rotate, eject. Now I guess if you wanted to uh, not waste so much time, you could eject, load around, rotate, eject, load around, but regardless, you're gonna be reloading for a little bit. In my opinion, the solution to this is to just have two street sweepers. Shoot 12 rounds, chuck it on the ground, pick up another one, and then shoot another 12 rounds. And maybe you could have somebody else reloading the other one in the meantime. So when it comes to shotguns, I absolutely love the street sweeper. It is probably one of my favorite shotguns, but there are some disadvantages. When it comes to the gun itself, it is actually kind of sketchy to unload. Let's say you had 12 rounds in here and you already have it wound up and ready to go. And, oh, I don't wanna shoot now. I need to get these rounds out of here. Well, the only way you can do that is by putting on the safety. And now you're gonna pull the trigger to unload it. When the safety's on, when you pull the trigger, it does not activate the firing pin. It just rotates 
the cylinder. You better make sure your safety is on or you're going to put a hole in something that you did not intend on shooting. The trigger on this thing is so crazy. <coughs> oh! <coughs> oh! So I think that that's a pretty bad feature. I shouldn't have to pull the trigger to unload this thing. Um, but hey, it is what it is. You gotta take the good with the bad sometimes. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints about the weapon as a whole. I mean, really when it comes to shotguns, is this thing the most efficient shotgun? No. Is it really cool? Absolutely. But when it comes to really cool stuff, a lot of times there is some extra paperwork that is required. A street sweeper is not something you can just pick up. You're gonna have to do some extra paperwork because this is an NFA item. But in my opinion, it's totally worth it because I absolutely love my street sweeper. <laughs> But what do you think about the street sweeper? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I would also like to know in the comment section down below what other weapons you would like to see me break down on this channel. Be sure and give today's video a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns. I'll see you next time.